What's up, CP Nation? Today we're going to discuss how to get that stomach on flat flat. And who else to do it with than Alexia? Hey, ladies, I'm going to get you right with these seven tips. So stay tuned, let's get straight into it. So listen, there are two forms of belly fat. There's a deeper type of belly fat stored around your organs known as visceral fat. This can cause serious health conditions. Guys, do not come into the gym just doing random stuff, winging it. You need to have a set plan. Stop trying to do a bunch of exercises thinking that's going to help you get rid of your belly fat. You really want to focus on your nutrition. I started seeing the most results when I dialed in on my nutrition. Yes, yeah, so many of you guys are just going on Instagram or TikTok doing your favorite fitness influencers workout program. So really focus in and stop doing the crazy stuff in the gym and get a plan. Listen ladies, you really want to focus on your food choices. It is important to understand the six groups needed for your body. Your meats, your fats, fibrocious vegetables, starch, milk, and fruit. Also, you can choose your favorite cheat meals because we got to have cheat meals. So listen guys, the point of understanding your healthy food choices is so you can know like when you can incorporate your cheat meals because the point here is to get visible abs while also maintaining our lifestyle. So have you noticed that now that you're more knowledgeable knowing like what healthy food choices work for you, you're able, you know when you can, you know, have a dessert? Absolutely. Um, like I said, when you have a fitness lifestyle, sometimes it can get a little boring when it comes to nutrition. Sometimes I eat the same meals all week long. Um, but like I said, knowing your body and knowing what you're putting in your body and what works for you is always going to be important to know how much you should have when it comes to, of course, those favorite foods and things you really, really like to eat. Yes, guys, and you'll make these improvements just by making a conscious effort. It's all about educating yourself because the more you know, that's like now that I've started to really know more about my body, I know when I can eat out or I know when, hey, you know what, let me do a little bit more cardio because I know I'm going out tonight or, hey, you know what, let me have a fasted, you know, breakfast so that way, you know, I'm saving some space for dinner tonight. So the more you can really educate yourself on these food groups, the more it'll give you room for wiggle. And that's step two. Step three, step three. Listen, ladies, you really want to focus on your protein. Your protein is going to allow you to stay satiated so you're not having those cravings, so you're not hungry later on at night. Protein is important as it helps you retain muscle mass. This is going to allow you to burn more calories throughout the day. Protein also has the highest exercise cost. This forces your body to use calories and to burn more. Have you noticed a huge difference in your body when you have increased your, your protein intake? Yes, um, I noticed that I have very little body fat and just more muscle. Um, it is really incredible and also I just feel very, very strong. Um, protein is actually a favorite of mine, so I'll always make sure to incorporate that in every meal. What's your favorite source of protein? Um, I love ground turkey, I love chicken. Um, chicken breast? Yes, chicken breast, sorry. Not fried chicken, chicken breast. <laughs> No, I had to ask. You know, somebody's like, oh, I can, I, can have, I can have fried chicken, I can have thick, chicken thighs. And it's like, no, it's chicken breast, it's, you know, bait. I also love salmon and shrimp. Those are really two big seafoods that I love to eat when it comes to protein. Are you heavy on the salmon? Because I know, like, salmon is high in fats. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here it go. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I am maybe at least two times or three times a week. Um, it just depends, like I said, when I go grocery shopping and what I'm really craving or wanting to eat. Um, but like I said, I keep it to a minimum and usually around three to six ounces, um, I would okay. say. So not too big of a portion. Okay, so you're not doing like 10 ounces of salmon? No. <laughs> and listen guys, as she's talking about, as we're talking about portions and everything, please make sure you get a food scale so you can weigh your food. I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Click that link and that way you go purchase the food scale. Listen, let me tell you something. If you're not using a food scale, you are not gonna get rid of that belly fat. You have to track your food. I see so many people say all the time, oh, I'm eating healthy. I haven't, you know, I cut out Popeyes, I cut out McDonald's. And then I ask them like, okay, let me see your serving sizes. Their serving sizes are so big, they don't really understand. Like a lot of you guys don't know what four to six ounces even would look like. So that's why it's important to have a food scale so you can weigh your food, so you know exactly how big your portions are. And that's step three. Listen, ladies, y'all gotta lift some weights. You gotta implement resistance training. I know that they say, oh, you're going to get bulky, you're going to look like a man, but I'm letting you know that is definitely not true. It is not a fact, okay? Yes, guys, Lexi is right. You should need to be doing resistance training anywhere from two to three times a week. And I know a lot of you guys are like, well, how do squats help me lose belly fat? 
Listen, squats are very high in calorie burning and it's about burning those calories. And by burning calories, that's what's gonna allow you to lose weight. So that's why it's important to really implement resistance training and it also provides a balance. You don't wanna just lift legs, you don't wanna just lift, just do sit-ups. You wanna train your upper body, you wanna train your lower body, your glutes, your hamstrings, everything. So it's very important. And also, this is gonna help, you know, as we're getting older, you, we wanna have kids and things like that. You don't wanna be so weak that you can't even pick up your child or you hurt your back, you know, lifting, carrying some groceries. So I really highly, I highly recommend implementing resistance training because that's going to help increase your how many calories you're burning a day, which is going to get rid of that belly fat and also it's going to help get rid of that visceral fat. Movement training is what's going to help get rid of the visceral fat. So it's very important that we really dial in our resistance training. All right, ladies. So if you're looking to lose weight, you definitely need to be in calorie deficit. Meaning, you need to eat less. You need to, again, make sure that you have a structured, structured meal plan. I mean, you got y'all gotta push that plate away, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll absolutely. We gonna get him out of here. He ain't, he ain't, he, he wasn't, he wasn't never amounting to shit anyway. He couldn't do nothing for our label. When you're starting to have those cravings, you gotta be disciplined and not get it, okay? You have to, you gotta replace it with something. For, for example, if you want something sweet, Get a fruit, okay? It is not that hard if you really want to achieve that goal. Yes, guys, don't be like me. Sometimes I'll be, sometimes I'll be folding, but I, I try to stay strong. We all, we all get cravings, but yeah, there are times when I'm having like late night cravings, and I'm like, you know what? Before I go to Chick Fil A, let me know grab oats and bananas, like just something where it's like, okay, that's a little bit, because my calories are very low right now. Honestly, guys, I'm only consuming 1,800 calories a day, and if you know. That's really low, especially for like a man where my maintenance is 2,700. That's my maintenance is 2,700. I'm almost a thousand below my maintenance. I, I get cravings just like you, but you gotta, you know, have different things. Sometimes, you know, I am hungry, but I just, I get up and I go for a walk and that, that helps me. Or, you know, I do look, I do look at someone who has a physique that I aspire to have. I'm like, you know, what would he do right now? What, what's that person doing? You need to know what your goals are and really be in a calorie deficit. If you're having a hard time understanding what your macros are, I'm gonna provide a link in the description below and click that link and enter in your height weight and it's gonna tell you exactly what you need to do. It's gonna give you your macro breakdown and just stick to it because guys, you know, you can achieve the body you want. It's possible. Don't count yourself out. Don't think you can't do it. Just tap in. Make sure you subscribe and you'll be good, man. Alrighty, sleep guys is very, very important. Again, like we said, it is important to make sure that the body recovers. Those muscles are, again, getting ready for that next day. You want to get at least six to seven, seven to eight hours of sleep. And again, just being able to wake up and feeling very charged up and ready to go for that next workout. So yes, guys, there was a study that discussed sleep on the different progress that could be made. You know, if you're, if you're having poor sleep habits, if you're only sleeping for four to five hours, you know, you're not gonna lose body fat. The more sleep you get, the more it's gonna allow your body to really recover and get rid of that fat. So it's highly important that when you're doing, you know, when you're implementing your calorie deficit and you're implementing your resistance training, it's really important that you're getting that sleep as well. So listen, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. My sleep schedule is not perfect. You know, I'm working, I'm busy all the time and I, and I don't always get the best sleep, but I really try to prioritize sleep as best as I can. And I shoot for at least seven hours. And you know, most of the time I'll probably get six and a half, six, but sleep, but I, I know it's a big difference. Whenever I get seven to eight hours of sleep, I feel charged up. I feel ready to go in the gym. You know, when I get those four hours, I'm moody, you know, I'm cranky. And it, and it makes me more likely to even want to eat out. Like there are a lot of studies that show that when you get less sleep, like it, it increases your cravings. So you really want to be mindful of that. And that's step six. Step seven, step seven, you really wanna stay positive, okay? So many people give up right before they get to their results. It's really important to stay positive and also remember, when you're losing weight, you're not just gonna lose weight in your belly, you're gonna lose weight in your face, you're gonna lose weight in your arms, you're gonna lose weight in your legs, and it's a long process. You know, for however long it took you to get out of shape, that's how long it's gonna take you to get in shape. So if you've been eating crazy for five years, it's gonna take you some time. A lot of you guys do something for a month and say it's not working. Listen, you've, you've had five, 10, some of us 15, 20 years of bad habits, so it's going to take time to get those results. So at least, I say give it six months to a year if you really wanna see, like, if you really wanna see a noticeable change, have different measurements, get on a scale, do measuring tape, just anything you can use that'll really 
track your progress and don't get discouraged. Because even myself, there are times like, man, am I really getting those abs? Are they really popping out? And I'm like, yeah, they are. But it took time, though. It took time. It, this, this, is, this did not happen overnight. It took me a long time. And you know, you guys can see different phases from where I started to where I'm at now. And like, what's your thoughts on just like the time and just seeing the little changes? Because the body takes time to to change and adapt to what you're doing. So what's your what's your what's your thoughts on that? Um, absolutely. Um, back then, of course, when I was younger, I was actually very skinny. Um, like I said, I did always have a little bottom back there, but still, it wasn't like how it is today. Um, I definitely was not as muscular. Sometimes I'll even look back at old pictures, even from a year or two ago, and I can really see the change um, that has come with my body. So like he said, you know, Patience is key, progress is key, and consistency is key. You just gotta keep going no matter what you're feeling, what's going on, just keep doing the work and trust me, those results will come. And just to add on to what she was saying, you know, as she mentioned when she was younger, listen guys, when you're younger, it's easier to snap and shave. As you get older, it's harder. Like, now that I'm a little bit older, I don't recover as fast as I used to recover when I was younger. So, it, it, you know, you have to be really patient. But I promise you, you know, you guys implement these seven steps, you guys will see a change. Like, you know, so tap in with that. All right, CP Nation, man. Thanks for tapping in with all seven of the tips. Listen, if y'all confused, you already know, man. Get the ebook. The ebook going to give you a breakdown of trainings that you can do at home. It's gonna show you body weight exercise, it's gonna give you meal prep options, it's gonna give you step count options, and all you have to do is email me the word ebook, and it's all for free. The email address is in the description below, man, tap in. Alexia, thanks for coming out and dropping them gems. Absolutely. Listen, if y'all ain't hit that subscribe button, I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> tap that subscribe button, also hit the notification button so you can see when my shorts are coming out, when the lives are coming, and just be dialed in, man. We're gonna get that dream body, we're gonna get rid of those big old stomachs. Like I'm telling you, we're gonna get the results that we want, man. So, CP Nation, we out.